Hello, my name is Darius Young, and welcome to Modeling Lucario Part 3. In this part, we're going to be modeling the legs. So, let's jump into Blender and get started. Now, it's still, like, Blender still jumps around to different programs and stuff. I haven't found a way to fix that, so I'm sorry if it happens uh, during the video. Um, I, again, I, I don't know what to do to fix it, but, um, yeah. So... <clears throat> Uh, at any rate, please just bear with me, and um, we'll get started. So, let's tab in here to our mesh, and what I want to do first is to hit Control R in this um, group of faces right here, and right uh, left click, and then right click to um, make sure that that edge loop doesn't move anywhere. Now I'm going to hit S and Y, and I'm going to scale it on the Y axis. It's about right there, and then use this green arrow to move it over a little bit like so. I'm in the side view right now. In fact, let me turn on my screencast keys. Oh yeah, and um, <clears throat> if you were wondering how to get screencast keys, I guess I can show you in this video too. It's not, it's not that hard. So what you want to do is first you open your... Uh, text editor and you can download the screencast keys um, text file if you just search it on Google and um, once you download it you go to open and then you go to wherever you saved your screencast keys text file so it's right here just double click that and you'll see this this um, script right here that you can run and so all you have to do is scroll over here and click run script and now you have screencast keys right there so that's really cool to um, get screencast keys back and then you can just right click on the edge click join area close this window out and then click start display and you see it displays over there so I'm gonna make this a bit bigger so that you can see what I'm doing now because we might need this. In fact, no, we'll, we'll close that out too. So, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to keep scaling. So, hit Z to go into wireframe mode, B for box select, select these bottom uh, vertices there, and then hit XY, SY, my bad, not XY, and then you scale out to about right there. Okay, now. Maybe thinking, what are we going to do about this part? What I'm going to do is select this vertice here, hit X, and delete it because I am going to be using this vertice here and this vertice here. Hit F to make a face, Control R, and then as you use your mouse wheel to scroll up, we want three cuts in here on this uh, edge here so left click and then there we go we, since it's only vertices we don't have the option to move them around so if you just left click once you'll be fine and then we're going to use this uh, this red arrow to move them out we're going to move it out to right here we're going to click the middle one and we're going to move this out to there like so then we're going to select these three again and then hit S, Y, the Y axis. Let's go on the side view here. Hit S, Y, just a little bit more, and then we can move it forward like so. Okay. So now. What we want to do is we want to select these two vertices here, hit F to make a face, and then hmm, select these two, hit F to make a face. I see the, okay, so it's not that big of a deal. So then we just, well, it kind of is. Okay, so, <laughs> um, don't mind that. Just going to move this back just a little bit 
and we are going to extrude these extrude these two vertices up don't mind it not matching right now we need to extrude them up however because oh okay so we don't need to we don't even need to do that with the ver uh the edge we just do it with the vertice okay so we need to do select that vertice there hit e for extrude move it right there uh hit e again to move it right here e again to move it right there and then to end it off we just select this and then hit f and then we can move these inward Let's see yeah move these inward move this vertice down move this vertice down move that vertice down to right there okay so now uh, we can simply select these four faces and hit F not not, not face vertices and then hit F to make a face then do the same thing select that edge and hit F hit F and then hit F again and there we go and now for this we just need hit control R in the middle of here left click and then we can make faces I think so let's see select those two hit F hit F nope so we need one more vertice and then we can make faces so control R right there and now we can go around here hit F hit F and then hit F smooth these around so that they make sense and in fact I don't like this verse here select that vertice and hit X to leave vertices and we'll just merge these two so select those two at alt M and then hit center there we go now this tutorial may be one of the longer ones because the legs I found to be extremely difficult to uh, <laughs> to do um, because of their weird shape but uh, we will get through it so uh, if you could just bear with me All right, or I may just do the leg in the multiple parts um, so next is E for extrude on those what is it, those three vertices right there and then select these two vertices hit F and the same thing in the back select these two hit F and there we go so see we're getting his uh, thighs in there uh, but what we don't want is this bulge here so we're just going to move that up and we're gonna move this out or in there we go and then okay so that's good and what's good about this is the t topology wise if I control R here it's a loop that goes exclusively through the leg so it won't it won't interrupt any other geometry we have up here which is why I did it the way I did so now we're going to select this vertice and this vertice we're going to hit F twice there we go so that close that gap up we're going to get rid of this bulge back here as well Let's see, move that in in fact we're going to move all of these vertices here out G, move those out. Okay, and we can move these out as well. Move those out. And why not? We can move these out too. Oop, let me deselect these. We can move these out as well. And okay. In fact, we can move this out just a little bit more because it's not matching the picture like I would like it to. Okay, and then to make this even better, we can hit Control R, make a loop through there, and then we can select these four vertices here and move these out. There we go. Now it matches.
Okay, so now the legs or, or the rest of <coughs> the rest of the thighs. I'm gonna make this a uh, circular kind of shape there and uh, hit control tab to go into face select mode. Select these two faces, hit one and then hit E for extrude to extrude those down. R to rotate, G to grab, and then S S to scale. Scale that in. We're out. Uh, I guess out actually is a bit better. We can move this in. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see what it's looking like here. So hit S Y to scale that in on the Y axis. Okay, that's looking better. Or rotate a little bit. There we go. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to get from this chunky part to this not chunky part. And so to do that, we just hit E for extrude, right click, hit Alt O to turn off a portion of editing if you had it on. If you didn't have a portion of editing on, then just don't hit anything. Or if you have regular proportional editing on, just hit O. Now just hit E for extrude. Oh wait, we already hit E for extrude. <laughs> so just hit S to scale <gasps> until you get about right. Whoops. Until you get about until you get about right here. If I knew my keyboard, there we go. And let's see what's looking like on the side. We can hit S Y just a little bit to bring that out. Okay, good. Now. We can just hit E for extrude and bring that down to about right there. Now, <clears throat> we can hit R and rotate. <sighs> Move that to right there. R and rotate again. And instead of scaling it down, we're going to go into edge select mode. And we're going to select this edge here. And we're just going to move that in. We're going to select this edge here. We're going to move that in as well. Then we're going to hit control R, left click once, right click, and then select that uh, edge there and move that out like so. Select this edge here and then we can move this in like so. Then we can, whoops, then we can hit uh, alt and then right click to select that whole uh, ring there, of vertices or edges, and then hit control B for bevel, and we're going to bring that out, and then use your middle mouse button to scroll one time to get one edge there. Yeah, okay, and then left click, and now we're good. So, well we're good in the side view, not in the front view, we have to scale some stuff on the x-axis, so uh, hit S X, scale that in. And this part too. And then we can control tab face select. Select these. S X to scale that in. Give me a G to move it out. Then I can hit Alt O to turn back on proportional editing connected. Use our mouse wheel to scroll that up as we move that there. Perfect. Now, we're going to move our 3D cursor right here, and then hit, or not 3D cursor, but our mouse right there, <coughs> and hold control, and left click. And that just <coughs> automatically extruded our vertices down, like so. Next, we're going to, oops, go to select, all right. Uh, go to edits, go to vert vertex select, and uh, select a string of vertices there. We're just going to move that back into place. <sighs> now, some vertices got misplaced, but it's okay. Just move those in. Next, we are going to select this a group of vertices here. We're going to do the same thing we did up here. Just control B for bevel. And then left mouse, and then not left, but scroll wheel up one, and then left click. And then now I'm going to hit Z, and we're going to box select these, 
Just gonna move these down like so. There we go. Now we're going to control B select those. Okay. Then R rotate. G to grab, move that up. And uh, I guess we can hit control R at a vertice at a group of vertices here. Select these two. And move these up. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. Now, sit one and see what's looking like in the front view. So, need to beef box select. Select these and move these over. Actually, hit SX first just to scale them a little bit and then move them forward. There we go. I eyeballed that perfectly. <laughs> Alright, now. Hit SX to scale that in some as well. Then we can actually scale this middle one out some. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, now, uh, one thing I want to do uh, so that it's not easy to tell that this just, you know, is one thing and that gets the actual separation is I'm going to hit Control B for bevel and then E for extrude up. There we go. And now it looks like, you know, it's like a, it's like this leg is a pouch or something. I don't know. It just looks better to me. So, that's cool. And, um, I'm debating whether I should do the toes in this video or do the toes in another video because the toes are rather uh, difficult. Yeah, we'll do the toes in another video. So, so this one won't be too long because I'm trying to keep them under 20 minutes and I know the last one was 22 minutes. So uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, consider this part one of the legs, but it's still part three of the tutorial. <laughs> Confusion. Okay, so uh, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the uh, next tutorial. And then in that tutorial, we will go over doing the toes. So I will see you there. Have a good day.